Panther Nation, what's good? Welcome back to Two Fans in the Stands. I'm your favorite armchair GM, CJ. And I'm your favorite couch goddess, Jordan there, Tony. Come on now, one time. All right. And in this episode, we just want to let you know our expectations and what we want to see from the two days of joint practices with the New York Jets. Let's get it. Tony, how you doing today, cuz? Man, I can't call it. You know me. I got six in one hand and half a dozen other. I guess I call it even. Even all how right. About you, hey, I'm how doing about good, you? man. Hey, I'm I'm doing good, doing good. So as you all know, the New York Jets are coming into town in Panthers training camp for two days of joint practices. Coming with their new quarterback, Mr. A. A. Ron, Mr. Discount Double Check. The bad sure. man, all of the above. All right. <laughs> so this would be a good, you know, measuring stick for how our offense and how our defense is faring so far. Okay. okay. So Tony, I'm gonna go to you first. What do you what do you want to see from these two days of practice with the Jets? Uh basically I want to see how the offense and the defense are starting to gel in, in this new scheme. You know, mm -hmm. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself and, and you, you know, um, come with un, unmatched expectations. I want to try to keep things neutral, keep them okay. um, realistic. You know, this will be the first preseason game. This will be the, um, not preseason game, but first uh, right. scrimmage. Um, practicing against someone else, hitting someone else. So you just want to see the things that they've been working on throughout the off season and training camp. You want to see how it's coming together. So and I'm, I'm really, there's no one particular uh, position that I want to see. I want to see both sides of the ball, but I definitely do want to see um, how Bryce Young handles the situation, you know, okay. If I'm not mistaken, I believe they're going to have these joint practices where the quarterbacks are off limits. So yeah. I don't believe it's not it's not like he's going to get hit or anything like that. But I just want to see him play against an NFL-style defense other than his own defense for the yeah. first time. So not expectations aren't too high. Just mm -hmm. want to just see how they're gelling. Just want to see how things are coming together. But what about you? What what are you what are you looking for? Uh, more of the same, same things you said, but the biggest thing on my uh, list of things that I want to see, I want to see the Panthers come out of this healthy. I don't want to see any injuries and right. same for the Jets. Let me get that out. I don't want to see them get hurt as well, but, um, that's, that's number one on my list. I want them to get through these practices and through this game on Saturday, injury free. That's number one. Number two, like you alluded to, the quarterbacks will be off limits. But what I do want to see is the offensive line being able to protect Bryce. And we'll be able to tell from footage that we get um, whether that play would have been a sack or not. Okay. So right. I want to see Bryce be able to have time in the pocket, uh, read the play, go through his progression so he can find his receivers and be able to, you know, make those accurate throws that we have been seeing a lot of during training camp so far. Okay. Um, I agree. And another thing I want to see is the defense. I want to see what kind of pressure our front seven will be able to get on Aaron Rodgers. And, um, you know, what will they do against the Jets offensive line? Um, now, right. it's one unit that I haven't heard a whole lot of hoopla about when it comes to the Jets. It's the offensive line. So I'm, in, I'm curious to see, you know, what our front seven is going to do. Um, what kind of blitzes are they going to bring? um who's coming you know who's staying and it, exactly what kind of looks that we're going to have and right. i want to see how our cornerbacks hold up and by god i just want them to stay healthy okay and like i said before especially our cornerbacks i just want all of them to stay healthy okay? right right yeah. well no I, I was just gonna say um we're probably gonna not going i think everything is gonna be vanilla mm -hmm. offensively and defensively this is the first uh contact live contact with another another team first scrimmage leading into the 
first preseason game. So I mm-hmm. think a lot of times these teams, they hold their cards. They just want to oh, see yeah. if the team can function and can operate in the basic offense and defenses. So mm-hmm. I, I think it's going to be a lot more one-on-one battles that you get to see. I don't think there's going to be anything fancy, anything um, intricate or, you know, elaborate schemes going on. Uh, especially this joint practice in our first preseason game. I just think they, they got a lot of young players that are trying to make the team that they're going to, that they want to get a good look at in the joint practices and preseason. I think the offense and the defense is going to get a lot of look. They will mm-hmm. get more looks in the in the joint practice than they will in the preseason. That that's okay. that's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Now I agree with you on that one. But what I do want to see is if they're doing a lot of vanilla stuff. Now, vanilla stuff could be a couple of, you know, blitzes here and there. But I do want to see execution with whatever right. we come out with, whether it, whether right. it's vanilla, you know, or not. You know, I, I don't think they're going to go the whole two days and not throw a blitz or two or three in there at all. But whatever they do throw in there, I want to see execution. That's, that's what I'm that's what I'm hoping for the most is just right. flat out execution. You know, right. play I, I call, get it done. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yep. I agree with that 110. percent All right, but well, Tony, you got anything else you want to say before we get out of here? No, man. I'm just anxious to get the reports about these joint practices, um, how the team fares, and everything. Um, I see that uh, Justin Houston was in the building today, already mm-hmm. dropping gems. You know, working with uh, Brian Burns, so that's a great thing. To see Frank Wright did mention that he's going to be a rotational player, so mm-hmm. I think Saw you that. can see him playing 40 45 percent of the plays this year, like he did last year. He is an older player, 34 years old. So, you could if you can preserve his body, preserve his, his minutes, and he can be effective, you know, in those stretch moments when he do enter the game, I think that's a win win. So I, that's what I truly can't wait to see. I can't wait to see how effective he can be when he's in the game. Okay. Please. What about you? You got anything? No. I just want everybody to know that Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will be over on the Black Cat Panther podcast. If you aren't doing anything at that time, come check us out. Great group of guys over there. Also, Saturday, we'll be going live at 12 o'clock um, before the preseason game. Giving, uh, giving y'all our preview of the game. And um, again, you know, like we did here with the joint practices, we're going to give you our opinions and what we want to see out of the matchup between the Panthers and the Jets. And as always, if you haven't, please hit that like button, subscribe, turn on those post notification bells so you know when our videos come out. And as always, Panther Nation, keep pounding.